what the heck is the difference between the second generation HomePod and the HomePod mini? Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and Apple has had the HomePod mini on the market for a while. It comes in a bunch of fun different colors. It's small, pretty affordable, and a pretty solid smart home speaker. But Apple also just released the second generation of the full size HomePod. So what's the difference between the smaller HomePod mini and the larger full size HomePod other than $200? That's what I'm gonna go down in this video. I think what is important to start with is not how these two devices are different, but how they are similar. Both of these are smart home speakers designed and sold by Apple. You can play your music through them, cast audio from any of your Apple products, and they each have Siri built in. They have the same smart home features, including the ability to measure the temperature and humidity in any room they are placed in, they can also act as a thread border router connecting any of your thread devices to your smart home network. And they both will act as home hubs for your HomeKit accessories, enabling remote access and processing of HomeKit secure video locally on your network. Plus, both of these can act as a matter hub for any of your matter accessories. Other similarities between the two, they each have Apple's U1 Ultra Wideband chip, which allows for directional uh, location, allowing for easy handoff of audio from your iPhone to the HomePod and then back to your iPhone again, or doing the same thing with phone calls. They each support AirPlay 2 and multi-room audio, plus you can create a stereo pair of two HomePod minis, two full-size HomePods, and one or both of these can also be paired to your Apple TV as dedicated output speakers. That said, there are several differences between the two. Let's start with the existing HomePod mini. This is the HomePod mini. It retails for $99 and it's a very compact smart speaker. It measures just over three inches tall and comes in five different colors. This is orange, though it also comes in blue, yellow, space gray, and white has a permanently attached power cable on one side, it's a braided power cable, and has USB-C on the other. Inside is a full range driver, delivering 360 degree audio. There's also dual force canceling passive radiators as well to improve the bass response, though not nearly as much bass as the larger HomePod, as we'll see in a moment. There are three different microphones inside to work with your Siri request, whether it's getting the weather, setting a timer, or checking in on your smart home. Inside, powering the whole device, is Apple's S5 processor, which debuted with the Apple Watch Series 5. Then we have the full-size HomePod. The full-size HomePod retails for $200 more, $299. Since it's brand new, there are less deals on this, so you're going to be more likely paying full retail price. Comes in two different colors. This is Midnight, which has a slight blue hue to it compared to the space gray of the HomePod Mini. The also other differences here is that the full-size HomePod has a detachable power cable. So it's not a USB-C power cable, but it's still just a kind of proprietary opening there. But when you remove it, which comes up very easily, there's a standard kind of figure eight power cable in there that you can just swap with anyone that you have around your house. Something that would be plugging into a TV or your PlayStation uh, would likely fit right here into the back of the HomePod. So if you ever damage the original cable, you can swap it out for one you may have around the house. The larger HomePod is 6.6 .6 inches tall, which is double that of the HomePod mini. Producing the audio here is a dedicated high excursion woofer, as well as a five tweeter array. Now there are two less tweeters than in the original larger HomePod, and it's slightly smaller than the original HomePod, but in my experience, this does not sound any worse. In fact, I think, especially in the mids and the highs, it does sound better than the original HomePod, despite fewer dedicated tweeters. Compared to HomePod Mini, there are four beam-forming microphones compared to just three in the Mini. And the larger HomePod has room-sensing capabilities. The original HomePod, when moved, would detect movement and then recalibrate the audio for its new position. The new HomePod is basically calibrating the audio on the fly, so it doesn't detect when it moves, but it still detects the audio in the room that it's in, tuning it for its environment. That automatic room-based tuning is only available on the larger HomePod. Another difference that I've noticed is because of the S7 chip in the full-size HomePod, it's a lot faster, especially at processing HomeKit and Siri request. It can really bust through setting scenes, automations, as well as responding to you when you do invoke Siri. 
So for that wireless stuff, or if you just want to get more snappy speaker, the big HomePod's where it's at. Finally, the full-size HomePod, when paired with your Apple TV, can support Dolby Atmos spatial audio. It gives you a much more realistic 3D audio effect versus just stereo sound coming when you pair a set of HomePod minis. That's a lot of different specs, but what does it actually mean on the two devices and which one should you frankly just buy? Honestly, there's a lot of people that love the better sound that comes from the full-sized HomePods, but it can also be overwhelming in smaller rooms. For smaller rooms, absolutely buy the HomePod Mini. It's also much more affordable. There's no feature difference between a HomePod Mini and the larger HomePod. The only difference is going to be in the audio quality. If you really insist on better audio quality and more bass, go with the full-size HomePod, especially if you plan on pairing a set of them with your Apple TV and want the improved audio experience thanks to Dolby Atmos Spatial Audio. In those cases, go for the full-size HomePod. But two HomePod Minis, I think, sound almost as good as one regular HomePod, and that's $100 less. So depending on your situation, I think the HomePod Mini is still the one for most people. The full-size HomePod is great, sounds a lot better, and has just massive room-filling audio and substantial bass behind it. But not everyone is gonna pay the $200 difference it's gonna take to get to that feature. Unfortunately, I can't play a lot of audio for you because a lot of it's copyrighted, but here's a few different audio tests you can hear for yourself the difference between full-size HomePod and the HomePod Mini. Come with me as I dig in deep to Apple's 2023 16-inch MacBook Pro with a top of the line M2 Max processor. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. Come with me as I dig in deep to Apple's 2023 16 inch MacBook Pro with a top of the line M2 Max processor. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. In the end, it's really hard to tell you which one to buy. I mean, this is seriously the one for most people out there, but you can't argue with the fact that this one sounds a whole lot better. If you want the best audio, go for the big one. Otherwise, the HomePod Mini, you can't do wrong. Let me know what you guys think. There's links for each of these down below in the description. I want to know your thoughts in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I've got a lot more videos coming your way.